Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first official royal engagement since being married at Windsor Castle on Saturday. The newlyweds attended an event on the grounds of Buckingham Palace as part of Prince Charles' 70th birthday. Charlie Langston starts us off now from our New York newsroom. So, Charlie, what can you tell us? So Meghan and Harry arrived at Buckingham Palace in the back of a chauffeur-driven driven Range Rover, which is a marked difference from yesterday when they arrived back to Kensington Palace, driving themselves home from their wedding. Meghan looked absolutely beautiful. She was wearing a $640 beige dress by a brand called Goat, a brand that she's worn before. She also looked incredibly demure. She was wearing a pair of tights, she had some nude heels on, and she also had a hat. Her hair, I should add, was very neatly pinned back after she came under some criticism for her slightly undone bun at the wedding. The two of them looked very happy. They were there with Charles and Camilla. Prince William was not in attendance. He was actually in Manchester for the anniversary of the bombings, which happened last year. And Kate Middleton is still on maternity leave until the fall, so she wasn't there either. So it was a really great opportunity for Harry and Meghan to bond together with Charles and Camilla. Yeah, it must be nice for the new du uh, Duke and Duchess of Sussex to finally just dress down a little bit after that incredible wedding on the weekend. Uh, do we have any word on when Harry and Meghan will go on their honeymoon, Charlie? So they have put it on hold rather than doing what a lot of couples do and jet off on a honeymoon straight after the wedding. Obviously, they had this official engagement, which is the first time that Meghan will be called Her Royal Highness, the first time that people will curtsy to her, and the first time that she will be referred to as ma'am. So it is a really big stepping stone, and they obviously wanted to get that under their belts before they head off. We do believe it will happen later this year. Botswana and Namibia have both been posed as potential locations. Botswana is obviously where they went on their third date. Very fancy. And people are also saying that they may stop off in Ireland on the way just to enjoy a few days of quiet and, you know, go somewhere a little bit closer to home. They also have a stop in Australia scheduled for October this year, which is where the 2018 Invictus Games are taking place. So they really do have a bit of a whirlwind year as far as travel and official engagements are concerned. It must feel a little bit weird, but also so good to know that you're always going to be referred to as your Royal Highness for the rest of your life. Okay, Charlie, thank you.